kind of a little bit ugly, but so ugly that it's kind of cool, sort of a shadow. I just, I feel like I start grinning like ear to ear when I talk about these lipsticks because I love them so much. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got part two of my 2015 favorite series for y'all today. So today is going to be eyes and lips. So this could be a long one because you guys know these are my two favorite makeup products. I love eyeshadows and I really love lip products. So I tried to narrow down, but we still have way too much to talk about in this video. So grab yourself some coffee and let's jump into it. So starting with primers, these are my two go-tos, the Urban Decay Primer Potion and the Wet n Wild Fergie Eyeshadow Primer. I love both of these. I also love my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I forgot to grab that one actually, but just prepping my eyelids, those are my go-tos. These are great for helping the longevity of my shadows, but also helping the vibrancy. I like Painterly as kind of like a base to cancel out redness and discoloration and veining and things like that on my eyelids. So those are like my prepping eye products. Okay, so here we go with eyeshadows. Palettes, I mean, I could have mentioned a bajillion different ones. I love eyeshadow palettes, but I did try to narrow down. So first off, the L'Oreal Palette Nude 2. I love the first one too, but the two is my favorite. Every time I use this palette, I fall more and more in love with it. I think this is awesome quality. Drugstore or high-end, I think it's great. They just blend so nicely. I love the kind of like burgundy, purpley tones to it. It's just beautiful, plummy kind of shades. Um, and it's a great like standalone palette, but also really nice as a companion palette to use with, you know, L'Oreal Infallible shadows in the pots. And it's just like, it's so good. I love this palette so much. And every time I use it, I just think it's great. Um, and then also the Tarte Showstopper palette is a standout for me. This is kind of one of those like all-in-one, it's got everything you need sort of palettes. I brought this on a couple of vacations. It's awesome quality. I love that it has kind of like that burgundy, bronzy sort of a feel to it. So just really pretty, but really nice quality. And then this little guy stays out on display in our bedroom all the time because it's just so adorable. The Too Faced Le Grand Chateau palette. It's so cute. I have a review on this, but it looks like a little house and then you open it up and there's different little eyeshadow palettes inside. I think they're really nice quality. So I love the shadows, but then I love the packaging as well. So this was definitely a standout. I seriously feel like Makeup Geek was killing it in 2015 with so many amazing products. So first off, they're foiled shadows. I love those. My foil ones are kind of over in this area. They're just beautiful. I have some on my lower lash line. They're just gorgeous and metallic and buttery and pigment. They're just awesome shadows. And then the duo chromes came along duochrome shadows and then the duochrome pigments oh my gosh i don't even know what to say i've mentioned these so many times on my channel they're just awesome i mean they're really just funky cool shadows and they've got so many different things going on Ugh. i don't even know i mean i could just talk on and on about them i already have on my channel these pigments, like the pigments are kind of more wha-bam and dramatic because they're a little bit, I don't know, more duochrome and whatnot. But I mean, even the shadows in the pan are pretty like statement eyeshadows too, but they're more kind of daytime work appropriate, a little bit more so than the pigments, especially if you wet the pigments, they're pretty wha-bam. But this one is Kaleidoscope and this one is Prism. Kaleidoscope is just incredible on the eyes. Prism, I love it on the eyes too. I have it on my lids today. But then also you can put it like in the center of your lips. You can use it as a highlight. Oh, Makeup Geek in general. I love her line. But the foil shadows and especially the duochromes were standouts. If you love sparkly, amazing eyeshadows like I do and you have not tried the Moon Dust shadows from Urban Decay, you have to. These are just gorgeous. So two standouts for me would be Solstice and Diamond Dog. These are just glittery, duochrome -y, fun, dramatic, just party time on your eye kind of eyeshadows. They're awesome. They're so beautiful, dry, but then they're like even more incredible if you wet them with Max Fix Plus or a glitter glue. Yes, like fun statement shadows. I love these. 
And then I could go on and on about the ColourPop shadows as well. These are awesome quality, really affordable at $5 a piece. Some standouts would be so quiche. This is kind of like a duochrome kind of a little bit ugly, but so ugly that it's kind of cool sort of a shadow. It's just, it's a very strange shadow color, but that's why I love it so much. I heart this as kind of like a champagne taupey sort of a color. Yeah, it's just an awesome lid shade. And then DGAF is kind of like a, another sort of weird, funky, duochrome -y. I don't know, this one's kind of more on the like peachy, bronzy side. I just feel like pretty much everything I get from ColourPop, I like. So, especially their eyeshadows. Like pretty much everyone that I order, I get it. And I'm like, yep, this is amazing too. So these are a standout. And I really found my Holy Grail brow products in 2015 and they're both from the drugstore, which is awesome. So first is the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. I wear it in blonde. This is similar to the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, but I feel like this has a more like moussey texture. So it's easier to work with. It's not as thick and, um, I don't know, dramatic. I feel like the Dip Brow, you have to be really careful with it or it's just like, it's so thick and it's so pigmented, whereas this is more moussey and kind of like buildable. I don't know why I'm showing you the back. You can't even see it. Let me show you the actual product. I've used it almost all up, so. It's just awesome. So it's kind of similar to that, but like I feel like it's an easier to use version of it and it's less expensive. And then the um, Micro Brow Pencil from NYX. This is awesome too. I go through it quickly, that's the only negative, but I still do love it. It's that kind of like really tiny Micro Brow sort of a pencil. This is in the color Taupe. Is it Taupe? Yeah, Taupe in this one and Blonde in this one together. Love them. Such a holy grail combo for me now. For liners, I have a couple of standouts. So clearly, I love these liners. <laughs> and it's so funny that they're like almost the exact same length at this point. Like, that's so funny to me. So, I mean, obviously, I go through these liners. And I can't even see the full name of them anymore. But these are the Rimmel Scandalize pencils. This one is in black and this one is in brown. These are just go-tos for me. They're around four to five dollars. Um, I find them to be long wearing in the waterline. Not quite as long wearing as the Urban Decay Black Velvet pencil is for me, but these are way more affordable. So that's why I'm picking these. And then I also really love the Physicians Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black. This is like my go-to liner for my upper lash line and making a wing. It's black, it's pigmented, it's easy to use because of the end. Um, it's just like a go-to for me, and I find it to be long-wearing. It's just awesome. It is drugstore, but it's kind of a little bit pricier for drugstore, around, I don't know, $12 or so, so wait for a sale for this, but I love it. I purchase these over and over. For mascaras, I have three favorites. So first off, the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. I love this one by itself, but I especially love it in conjunction with other mascaras to kind of help um, separate my lashes, but also to kind of like help seal them so that I don't get as much transfer on my eyelid. I love the Lash Blast line for CoverGirl, from CoverGirl for that reason. And then also the Super Sizer. This is so dirty looking. It's a messy mascara because it's thick and kind of a goopy sort of a formula, but I love it. I mean, it gives dramatic lashes. It's awesome. Again, it doesn't transfer up onto my eyelid. CoverGirl Lash Blast line, it can do no wrong in my eyes. I love it so much. And then also, this is the Buxom Lash Mascara. This is awesome. I'm wearing this on my lashes today. It gives long, dramatic, full lashes. It's amazing. I would have never given this mascara a chance if I hadn't gotten a little sample of it, but I'm blown away by it. It's awesome. And it really transfers maybe just the tiniest little bit, but not really hardly at all on me. So that's really good. Okay, on to lips for liners. My favorites have kind of stayed the same for a long time as far as liners go. So I still love the Jordana Easy Liner for lips. You guys know Tawny is like my I love you, I will never be without you, you go with everything kind of a liner. Baby Bear is another really cute color. Um, but then I also really love the NYX liners because they're super affordable and they have a bunch of different colors. I just don't wanna spend a lot on liners, so these are ridiculously affordable and they work really, really well. But of all these, you have to get Tawny. Tawny is a yes, must have 
Love it so much, round two to three dollars. Okay, lipsticks, you guys know I could go on forever about lipstick, but I did narrow down to four different formulas that I wanna talk about. So the Urban Decay Matte Revolution lipsticks, these are awesome. They're a really comfortable matte formula. This one is in matte after dark. Super comfortable formula, really pigmented, very, very long wearing, just a great formula. So if you haven't tried these, I think they're amazing really sleek, beautiful packaging. They have several different colors. I wish that they would add more shades to the line because I love the formula so much, but they're just awesome and they feel kind of like weighty and fancy. They're great lipsticks. You guys know my love for the Kat Von D Steady Kiss lipsticks. I still love these. Two standouts would be Chula. This is a beautiful kind of like fall orangey color. It's awesome. And then Lovecraft is like a go-to, beautiful, mauve pink. These are pretty matte. I mean, there's different formulas or different finishes in this line, so there's some that have a little bit of shimmer in them, but most of them are on the matte side, so they can be a little bit drying on the lips, but I think that they're fine. I think they're still comfortable, but they're really long wearing, so I just don't have to worry about them transferring on my teeth and all that jazz, so. I just really like them and the packaging is really cool too. And then the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. Again, only $5, but awesome quality. They have so many different colors. Any color that you would want, they probably already have and you can get it for $5. I really loved their um, fall collection, especially the Lippy Sticks. Well, I loved the eyeshadows too. So Contempo, Dazed, and then Poison. These are all just gorgeous shades. I'm trying to show you the end so you can at least get an idea. I don't have time to swatch these or we would be here forever. And then Flawless, I love this one. It's just a beautiful kind of like berry purpley color. I love that these are in a lip pencil type formula too. So they're just like easy, throw them in your purse kind of products, which I love low maintenance. So this is nice and low maintenance. You know, it's just on those days that you're working and you just know you're gonna be out all day, then these are perfect. And then the good old Maybelline Creamy Mattes. I just, I feel like I start grinning like ear to ear when I talk about these lipsticks because I love them so much. They're really affordable. If you get them at Target or Walmart, they're around 550. They have so many different colors and I genuinely love pretty much every single color in this line. I grabbed three, but I love them all. This one is Lust for Blush. That's what I've got on my lips today. Beautiful, kind of like mauve but still mid-tone kind of a pink. Clay Crush is a really nice kind of like warm nude sort of a shade. This is amazing. I feel like this one's pretty unique for the drugstore too, so that's why I really like that one. And then the Siren and Scarlet is a really pretty like retro red. Oh my gosh. These are a super comfortable matte formula on the lips. Um, they're long wearing, they look nice on the lips. Oh, if you're just getting into matte lipsticks or even just, I don't know, you're just wanting a good drugstore lipstick line, these are a yes, a for sure. And then lastly for gloss, I have to go with my Buxom glosses. I just really like these. They have a bunch of different colors. So if you're looking for something very specific, like I want a peachy gloss with a little bit of shimmer in it or something like that, You'll very likely find it in this range because there's so many different colors in the line, especially on the Sephora website. There's a bunch of them. Um, they have that kind of like plumping, cooling sensation on the lips, so just know they do have that, but I don't think it's uncomfortable or anything. Um, and I do feel like it kind of gives some dimension to the lips. And then I also love the scent. Kind of like a vanilla, um, minty dessert sort of a scent to it, so they smell really nice too. And they're just nice glosses and so many different colors. All right guys, so that wraps up part two of my 2015 favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit the thumbs up if you did and definitely let me know down below what some of your favorite lip and eye products were for 2015. Cause like I said, these are my favorite makeup products to play with. So I definitely want to know your standouts for 2015. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.